My name is Michelle. I'm a part-time housewife with two children in elementary school and kindergarten. Life was hectic, but going great. That was, however, until my mother-in-law collapsed. I don't want to go to the hospital, but I guess that's the price to pay for getting old. Well, I'm glad you're not in any serious condition. It seemed to be a minor accident, but it is still best to run various tests to ensure you are okay. <laughs> you are so sweet, James. What did I do to deserve a son like you? He's your son. Of course he cares for you. We both do. If there's anything you need or want, you let us know. That's why I'm asking you to take care of Mom. Well, I knew you would. What do you mean? Well, I knew that I would have to look after her eventually. That you would only look after her for a short time before getting fed up with her. We don't have any room in our house. You don't have a choice. I'm working. I'm working too. You're working part time. Don't play games with me. I'm trying to support my family. You have a wife. You don't have children on anything like that. You are more than able to cope with looking after her. We can't! It's your turn! No, 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 no. You don't have to work. You already have enough money as it is. Simon won't take her, and we can't afford a care home. We're gonna have to keep her here. You are just gonna have to quit your job and look after her. I can't quit my job. I have just been promoted. She is your mother. Why don't you quit? I'm working. I can't look after her. I pretend to be nice, but the truth is we have never got along. I don't want to spend all day with her. Just be civil with her. Can you not do that for me? She is family after all. You are not listening to me. You are being immature and acting like a child. I need your help. You know she can't look after herself. You are not giving me a choice nor an opinion in this discussion. Well, starting tomorrow, I'm going to need you to start showing up at the hospital every day. End of discussion. I know it's a pain in the ass, but it has to be done. I hate my mother-in-law, and my mother-in-law hates me. Go to the concession stand and get me a drink and a magazine. And the drinks. Make sure they're caffeine free. Yes, yes, yes. Stop repeating yourself. You only need to say yes once. Are you making fun of me? You're such a stuck-up wife. I don't know why James married you. He was so much happier with the last woman he was with. Perhaps if I had known how horrible you were as a mother-in-law, I would have thought twice before marrying him. I think my marriage may have failed. I haven't divorced James until now because my kids were young, and it would ruin their lives. James is a good father and loves the children. It's just me he hates. Take my washing with you and make sure it is all neat unlike last time. And make sure to clean the rest of the house as well. I now have a part-time job. The kids are coping as well. There is a parent-teacher meeting tomorrow to discuss how they're progressing at school. James claimed he was too tired from work to show up, so it will just be me. Hi, Mom. Are you okay? Welcome home, dear. I hope you aren't too tired from work. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm fine. Let's go get some dinner. I'll help you. I'll help you! Linda and Zach are good kids, aren't they, Mom? I was feeling a little down, but now I feel better. Grandma, you're always so strict with Mom, and you do it with me as well. That's nonsense. I treat you both equally, my dear. Our James says boys are prettier than girls and only loves Zach. I hate that too. My mother-in-law will be in the hospital for a week. I had decided to hold out until then. That was until I found a website. A few days later, the day before my mother-in-law was due to be discharged from the hospital, my brother-in-law, who lives far away, suddenly came to visit her. I feel sorry for my mother to have to live by herself like this. So I was wondering if she could move in with you guys. Michelle, I heard from my mother at the hospital today that you aren't treating her nicely. Huh? You know, Michelle was always cold to mom, even reluctant to go to the hospital, you know? That kind of attitude must have gotten through to mom. That's why when I saw her today, she was depressed. Kept saying that Michelle was being a jerk to her. Michelle, how many times have I told you to be nice to my mother? I want you to buy flowers for my mother for when she comes out of the hospital tomorrow. Do you hear me? I haven't told mom about moving in with us yet, but I'm sure she's going to be a bit nervous after she gets out of the hospital. So please take good care of her. Fine, I'll take care of her. I'll help take care of her. I'll be happy to help too. I can't do this. What? Didn't you say you'll take care of her? Then you change your mind. I am sorry to say this, but I can't stand your mother and she can't stand me. Michelle, don't act like that. I don't like that attitude. There is nothing wrong with my attitude. Why doesn't your brother-in-law take your mother in? 
We live too far away. Surely distance doesn't matter since she is living with you. It is only one journey, and you need to go back that way anyway. It's only a two-hour drive. So, I've been thinking. If you're going to act like a big brother to me, don't just say it. Hey, Michelle, what are you talking to my brother about? You want me to take care of my mother-in-law because I'm your wife. Why don't you do it? You both make me do this and that, but you don't make your brother's wife do anything? Isn't that unfair? I don't know. My wife works. You work part-time, right? I still work. It doesn't matter whether it's part-time or not, and I feel like I'm being invalidated here. You don't have children, do you? I have two kids who need raising. I can't look after your mother as well. Isn't that too much? I'm just saying that. So, let me ask you this. If I have to take care of your mother, how will you two help me? What? No, that's just... You take care of your own parents. I'll take care of my children. Hey, I'm not done talking about it. It's over. I've come to my own conclusion. She can help look after our children. You can help each other whilst I provide for the family. That's why I work. I should just quit my job. Is that what you want? If you quit, I'll still be bringing money in. If I quit, we lose everything. There you go making me feel like I'm worthless once again. How dare you? I put up with it for the sake of my children, but I can't take it anymore. I'm leaving this house. See how you can cope without me. Wait a minute. What about my mother? I don't care. I just want that old hag to go to hell. Please don't leave. Come here, Linda. Grab your brother. We are leaving. What? You're really leaving? I told the kids I'd get them out of there. I had a feeling this would happen when your mother got out of the hospital. Damn it! Fine! Leave! Do what you want! But don't come back crying later! And so I took the kids and went back to my parents' house. I'm never going back. I'm not going back ever again. I won't be treated like a slave or a source of labor again. I agree. Especially if they expect you to look after her full time. And a week later, as expected, an SOS from James came in. Please come back. The house is falling apart. Mom says she's getting tired of doing all the work. Why don't you come home and cook for us? We've got a lot of laundry to do. Why don't you cook? We have a washing machine, didn't you know? You should have... You could have cleaned as well. I'm so happy to be home. I don't want to go back because I, I feel like I've taken care of his mother for too long. Let's get a divorce. You're kidding, right? Of course not. I woke up. I put up with it for a long time, but I didn't need to. You are an evil person for doing this. How am I evil? Why don't you just go live with your mom? Or you could ask your brother-in-law for a favor. Either way, I want you out of this house. I get it. I was out of line. I'm sorry. This is long overdue. I can't forgive you. It's too late. You gave up sooner than I expected, you gutless son of a bitch. Well, I feel better now that I've decided to get a divorce. I can't take care of someone I hate for free.